Welcome to our kickoff of 2015 fire season. But that's kind of a misnomer because we never ended the 2014 fire season. In fact, in January of 2014, we declared fire season open. I actually had to go to the Board of Supervisors and request extra funding to bring all of our summer wildland staffing back on because the conditions literally turned overnight to fire season. Now we've had rain over the last 24 hours and that rain is really welcome. It's important that we get the rain for a lot of different reasons. But it actually is um, not affecting the lower front country as far as changing our conditions. The lower elevations, the fuel is already cured and dead, ready to burn. In the upper elevations where we did receive sub substantial rainfall and snow, that's actually going to give a second growth of the grass crop. And the grass becomes the carrier fuel, which helps to spread the wildland fire. And of course, our tree mortality here, not only here in Kern County, but throughout the Western United States, those trees are dead. They're not coming back no matter how much rain or snow we do get. And those dead trees will uh, contribute to unbelievable fire conditions. And not only when the smoke is out, the fires contain, we do face the threat of floods and mud and debris flow during the winter. So this is a year round event that the predictions are this could be one of the most significant historical fire seasons on record. Now as you look around today behind me, there's a lot of different agencies represented. There's a saying in California that no one stands alone. And that means no fire agency can do it by themselves. It takes a team of individuals, of agencies, resources to contain and control wildland fires. You see the Office of Emergency Services that coordinates mutual aid response throughout California. You see CAL FIRE behind us. CAL FIRE is the state agency that's responsible for state responsibility area lands. You see the United States Forest Service that protects Sequoia National Forest. You see the Bureau of Land Ma Management that re, uh, protects desert areas. You see the California City Fire Department. You see the Kern County Fire Department here. We're all here today because it takes a team to control these wildland fires. The cost on average for major wildland fires as they're burning through our county, our state, the Western United States is over a million dollars a day. Our firefighters are on the front line 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They do not quit until the fire goes out. And they work in conditions, steep, rugged terrain, hot daytime temperatures, nighttime where they cannot see the rocks. And they're working in that steep terrain. Our firefighters are out there to protect our communities and protect our citizens. As I said before, this season is shaping up to be a tremendous wildlands fire season. Could be historic, definitely will be significant. The agencies behind me, they're ready to go. It also takes another group of individuals that work uh, to assist us. The Sheriff's Department. Law enforcement is on the front lines with our firefighters doing evacuation. The Parks Department. Here in Kern County, often Kern County parks are used for our base of operations. And as a note, we will be going into fire restrictions in the Kern County parks. That means no open campfires. We need to reduce the risk of these fires starting. The Office of Emergency Services for the County of Kern and the agencies that support the shelter and uh, feeding of people who have to leave their homes during these major wildland fires. Again, again, it is a team. 
thank you for being here. Um, it's important that we get the message out that fire season's here. Even though we've had some rain over the last 24 hours, the sun will be out, the fuel conditions are right for burning, and we will be in fire season.